Hello everyone and welcome to Turning Point Language Institute. My name is Tarun and today I'm in front of you to discuss that what are the different type of essays that you can get when you will appear for your IELTS exam. Guys, it is very important to know the type of essays because the format which you will be following will differ from essay to essay. So, by the end of this session, you will be able to understand that what all are the situations in which you have to give your opinion, in what all situations you have to give the uh, example or a survey and all these small details in, through which we maintain our coherence and cohesion and at the same time we maintain our task response. So, Coming directly to the point, when we write the essay, the broad categories or the essays which you will get, they are divided into three main categories, debatable, problematic, descriptive. So first of all guys, we need to understand that how we can identify the type of essay. So debatable essay will be the one in which there will be an argument and at the same time your opinion will be asked kya matlab hota hai argument ka kuch log aisa samajhte hain kuch log waisa samajhte hain aap kya sochte ho that is your opinion some people send their children to school when they are 3 to 5 years in age Others send them to school when they are 8 to 10 years in age. Discuss both the views and give your opinion. That is a debatable task. Some people think that government should spend more money on railways as compared to roads. Do you agree or disagree? That is a debatable essay. Up to what extent do you agree or disagree? That is a debatable essay. The second category is the problematic category. Guys, as the name suggests, there will be some kind of a problem and they will ask for the causes and solutions. It has been observed that people prefer to travel by their personal vehicles and the trains and buses are running almost empty. What are the causes and solutions to it? In the last 50 years, 50% 50 wild animals have died. What are the causes and solutions to it? So guys, one thing which we need to keep in mind is that in a problematic essay, they will not ask for your opinion. Jo cause or solution unhone poocha hai unhone ye nahi kaha ki aapke hisab se cause or solution kya hai wo kehte hai is cause or solution kya hai secondly in this there will be no argument for example let us take the example of uh, the wild animals being died like being getting extinct so there is no argument in it now, what do you say? Ki wild animals marne chahiye ke nahi marne chahiye? I don't think so. Nahi marne chahiye? Aap kya sochte ho? Nahi marne chahiye. Koi hor, koi aadmi hai aisa, jo kya ta ho ki koi baat nahi yaar, mar ke, mar ke, dafa karo. No, sir. Aisa to koi bhi nahi hai. So, I want to tell you that there is no argument. Koi do rai nahi hai. Sabhi ki ek hi rai hai. That is something which you keep it which you need to keep in mind while attempting your problematic essay. And the third category is descriptive. They will not discuss a problem. It is a normal situation, but everything has got advantages and disadvantages. So when they ask for advantages and disadvantages, then we will have to follow the format of a descriptive essay. So, 
मैं थोड़ा सा और गहराई में जाना चाहता हूं लेट अस सी दैट व्हाट आर द सब कैटेगरीज ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री काइंड ऑफ एसे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द डिबेटेबल एसे और द ओपिनियन बेस्ड एसे Guys, the opinion-based essays are broadly divided into three categories, and those categories depend on the demand of the examiner. So the first category is, do you agree or disagree? The second is. up to what extent do you agree or disagree and the third one is discuss both the views and give your opinion so these are the three categories of a debatable essay okay ma'am i just want to ask you that is this line visible in the camera yes sir okay great so we have these three categories of debatable essay guys in order to explain these things i need to explain you a concept like what will happen in do you agree or disagree so guys whenever we ask any question to someone there are two type of questions the first one is a closed ended question the second is an open ended question so i'll give you an example suppose ma'am if you come to my place and i ask you han ji bhai cha piyoge ke coffee चाय पियोगे या कॉफी सो यू कैन इधर से चाय और यू कैन से कॉफी सो आई हैव आस्क्ड यू अ क्लोज एंडेड क्वेश्चन हुज आंसर इज इधर येस और नो और आई हैव गिवन यू टू ऑप्शन एंड यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट वन ऑफ दम बट इफ यू कम टू माई प्लेस एंड आई आस्क यू हाँ जी भाई साहब आप क्या पियेंगे आप कहोगे जी शाम का टाइम है मैं तो पैदल रहूंगा so i have asked you an open ended question so in the same way when they say do you agree or disagree we can either completely agree or we can completely disagree to the question the second opinion is up to what extent do you agree or disagree iska matlab ye hai ki ha main is cheez ko agree karta hu magar सिर्फ एक हद तक अग्री करता हूं कंप्लीटली अग्री नहीं करता सो इन दिस आई हैव एन ऑप्शन दिस इज एन ओपन एंडेड क्वेश्चन आई कैन इधर कंप्लीटली अग्री और कंप्लीटली डिस एग्री हाउ एवर आई कैन ऑल्सो पार्शली अग्री टू समथिंग एंड द थर्ड वन इज डिस्कस बोथ द व्यूज एंड गिव योर ओपिनियन नो मैटर यू अग्री और डिस you have to give both the opinions in this one opinion will be mine and the second opinion will be someone else's opinion i will support my opinion i will criticize the other person's opinion so these are the three sub categories of the debatable essay guys it is very important to understand the details of this because your format will have minute changes on the basis of these categories that i'll be explaining it a bit later the second topic or the second category is the problematic causes and solutions guys it is very easy to attempt this you will just have to think about the cause and the solution will automatically come for example we say that wild animals are dying day by day what are the causes and solutions i will just have to think what is the cause the cause is deforestation 
and the solution is that we should control deforestation. The cause is that the body parts and skin of wild animals is sold at a very high price because of which wild animals are killed. The solution is that the lawmakers or the government should take some strict actions against hunters and poachers. So you have to only think about the cause and the solution will follow up. Okay. The third category is advantages and disadvantages. Guys, this type of question will have two subcategories. The first one is what are the advantages and disadvantages and the second category is do the advantages overweigh the disadvantages so guys there is a lot of difference between these two categories what are the advantages and disadvantages? Do the advantages overweigh the disadvantages? So, in this, the examiner is asking for my opinion that according to me, do the advantages overweigh the disadvantages? And in this, they are not asking for my opinion. They are just saying that what are the advantages and disadvantages. So guys, again, as I explained in the beginning of this video that you will have to decide that in what all situations your opinion is important, in what all situations a survey is important, in some situations, the survey is required in the first body paragraph and it should not be there in the second one. And it depends on the type of essay that you have got to attempt. What I suggest you is, the students who are already following me, just make sure that you take one example and write on the notebook that if that particular example comes in this form my format will be like this if it comes in this form my format will be like this write it on a paper it will consume seven to eight papers click the photographs send it to me so that i can give you the feedback the people who have not enrolled themselves with me i request you to please contact me at my phone number that is 7814442804. I use the same number on my WhatsApp. If you want, you can leave your phone number in the message. I can contact you. And at the same time, guys, please make sure that you subscribe to this video and press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of my subsequent videos. Thank you.